So since I graduated from USC Aiken in 26, no, 2020, I um, went on to get my master's in social work and I just graduated this past May um, with my master's in social work. My specialization was children, youth, and families and I also got a graduate certificate um, in drug and addiction studies. And my current job now, I just um, started a couple weeks ago at the State Department of Social Services in the uh, Program Evaluation and Contract Monitoring Unit. So I'm a contract monitor there. To start, really, um, it really, all the, I will say for one, all the writing that we had to do in the papers really strengthened my writing skills and kind of prepared me for, for grad school and all the writing that I would do in grad school. Um, not to mention the, um, you know, the diverse experiences and, and knowledge base that we gained through the program um, really helped in my uh, graduate program uh, with, with social work. And, you know, social work and political science really kind of, in some sense, go, goes hand in hand. Um, it really pr- prepared me very well for, and what, even what I do now, as a contract monitor, you know, post um, graduating from my master's program and program evaluation, um, I really, I had, I remember having a program evaluation course in, in the program and learning about all the different types of um, evaluations and um, and it really kind of, it, it prepared me for the, for this role. All right, really the introduction of policy politics course with Dr. Thornburg was was really good um you know it started off by you know discussing things like the collective action problem and transaction cost and you know that really that stuck with me um state and local politics uh with Dr. Young um and that one was really really good really um remember the lobbying activity we did with uh, the legislature and that really um, really transitioned well to my graduate program and the work that I did in actually one of my classes it was a policy course and it really was similar so I already knew I already knew the deal already knew how to do it Um, you know and taking a look at you know well what is this legislature what are their interests and kind of matching you know their interests with your policy goal policy of what you want what policy you're trying to advocate for um and you know and all the other steps too that go along with it uh, non-western politics that one was a good one too um you know and really learning about colonization european colonization and how um you know we in America where you know we like to stick our noses in other people's business and it's you know laws and policies that are in place to to maintain the two-party system that was in um, some of Dr. Thornburg's uh, courses especially the American election Um, and that was really really cool to see that you know these things are in in place and they maintain to maintain the status quo um so and of course you know of course the program evaluation course with dr young that was like as i've mentioned previously i that one was um really really good and and helping me understand program evaluation and you know how to um monitor and collect um you know different types of documentation needed to to conduct an evaluation faculty the professors in the political science program all you know were super helpful um provided a lot of of constructive feedback and pushed us to to think outside the box to think deeper into things and um you know explain yourself really um the the faculty really um made sure that you know all beliefs were um, in the room and all perspectives were heard and and you know that really you know speaks to well to my social work education because you know to be a social worker you have to see things from all different perspectives and 
you know, I think that the faculty did really well at, at honoring that. Other students in the political science program are really receptive, really open-minded to uh, various viewpoints. You know, whether we agreed on things, disagreed on things, we were able to have constructive discussions in class, and it really made for a more supportive learning environment, thought-provoking. I mean, we had great conversations. I mean, I know I remember times where, you know, things... It, with some people in in the program and you know it got it got a little heated at times but it we were able to dial that back in and 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 reach a consensus um and and come come to some sort of common ground um it was and i you know as i you know talked to other people about the program I, you know I, i look at it and i'm like you know i think that my generation, my cohort, you know, I think that, you know, we are future leaders. We are um, going to produce a lot of positive change, I think. Um, and I saw that in the program. Political psychology. Um, in that course, we were learning about the different types of um, the drivers of, of behavior, internal versus external drivers of behavior, or environmental. Um, and we read an article, uh, it was called The Likely Cause of Addiction has been discovered and it's not what you think. And it really, really changed my perspective on, on addiction. And, you know, it argued that it, it, addiction is an issue of, of bonding and, you know, that the person's primary relationship is with the substance and all the other relationships are impacted but it argued that uh and one of the lines that i remember the most is the opposite of addiction is not sobriety it's human connection and we you know people like to, to you know look at it and this demeaning really to to the person experiencing addiction um you know we use terms like addict and abuse and um, things like that, but this article really, one of the things in particular that I, another, well, another thing that I remember in the article, it talked about how Portugal um, had decriminalized all drugs and they saw a 50 fold or 50% decrease in, in, in overdose. And while that's very radical, it, it works. And, um, you know, I would, coming into that, I would not have, have said that, you know, and it really changed my view of it. It really made me think about it deeper and which really ultimately led me to uh, want to study it more. And, you know, that's kind of one of the reasons why I went into social work. Um, but really and truly, I, I learned even more about it in, in, in college or in grad school and got my certificate in drug addiction studies. So um, that was a real, that was a breakthrough moment, I would say. I mean, my my path was, uh, I started off and um, wanted to take the classes to go to pharmacy school, but I hit organic chemistry. And I remember one night um, in my dorm, I was trying to study for it. And, you know, I, and I also had American government at the time too. And, you know, reading some of some of the readings that we had for American um, government, I was like, I'm way more interested in this than I am in chemistry. So that's, you know, kind of one of the reasons why it's like I need to make this switch. I need to, you know, major in political science do what I really like. I mean, even as divisive as it, as politics is now, it can be tough to to get into it but to study it I think is really important to be knowledgeable of it um, to be an edu educated citizen I think is is really key you know I believe everything happens for a reason I ended up at USC Aiken and that's yep. where I was supposed to be and I, you know I think about it, I'm like I definitely would not have had the same experience I don't went to a bigger school Definitely the classes would have been a whole lot bigger and wouldn't have had as, as much 
discussion. I really, honestly, I would have just been an uncle. 